I can't stand the hypocrisy of it all. Like people coming up to us to shake our hands and offer their condolences and looking all sad. Why? It's our dad. Like they care. Most of them hadn't even seen him in years. What is your problem? If you want to come up and give us sympathies, why have you got such a problem with that? Trust that to even piss you off. I think most of them are here for the free buffet that comes afterwards. She made some kind of coffin cake. Slice of death, Mary. To go with your third help in a quiche and egg mayo sarnies. Shut your voice down. I am not going to let you make this about you today. No, you're right. I'll just sit here and pretend it's fine that none of these lots gave two shits and visited Dad when he was still here. Dad wouldn't have wanted to see them anyway. Ever since Mum died, most of them stopped calling and checking in on him. Jesus. Look at them queuing up now for the hot food. Why not do the Congo whilst you're waiting? Make this a proper send-off. Where were you lot when it mattered, hey? Where were you? Where were you? I was there. But I also had all that stuff going on with work, you know that, and... Because I was there. I was the one that was dressing and undressing him. Washing him. Taking him to the toy when he'd stalled himself, helping to turn him so he didn't choke on his own vomit. Holding him in the night when he was hallucinating, terrified and calling out for mum. Not you. Okay? So just shut up. Go and take the condom off us off the drops. I was too afraid. I was too afraid to see him like that. So it was fine. What choice did I have, huh? Look, I am so grateful for all that you did and... All I want to do is get through today. So if you're smiling and nodding and watching these, I'll get off on a few free drumsticks and cocktail sausages and so be it. I am so tired. <laughs>